où il peut. 7. 7 plus 7. Good girls. Let's stay at stay. You gotta stay. Good girls. Welcome to Little House Land Cloud Adventures this week. The dogs are gonna go crazy. No, we're talking about kennels, crates, and even a dog bed. Uh, we got a lot of kind of how-to information on how to set things up, how much they cost, uh, either before you buy it or if you bought it and you just want a little help on how to get things going, especially for the beast of a kennel that we're in right now, which fits me and two, two medium and maybe a large size dog. It, that one takes a little bit of time, but the other ones are really relatively pretty quick. Um, you might be able to figure them out on your own, but it, it doesn't help or it doesn't hurt to just check out a video. So here we go. As I give these guys treats for being such good dogs, sit. You gotta sit. Good girls. I want to remind everybody we've got a $350 gift card giveaway. Uh, all you gotta do is subscribe and comment that you subscribe, or make a like on a video and comment that you made a like on a video, and also just. Uh, make another comment on a video about you like something, you didn't like something. Either way, uh, best of luck to everybody that decides to enter. Uh, we appreciate your support. Again, please subscribe, comment, like, everything, and the dogs and I really appreciate it. They get lots of treats because of it. Thank you. The first thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is this bed that they're on. They each have one. Uh, they're kind of sharing one right now. They kind of, they're big, but they do sometimes share the same one. Uh, the thing I really like about it and the reason we're going to keep it on our travels, it's really light and it's really easy to put together. So it is, I, I bought it on Amazon, it's a More Pets Dog Cot, I just looked right now, doesn't look like they're currently available, I bought it for about $37 a year ago. So I'm going to have Dallas jump off real quick, come on Dallas. I'm going to show you guys just how easy it is. I mean these are plastic, but it's actually pretty sturdy, let me get a little bit closer here. They're just plastic, again this mesh is nice and breathable and it, it also really helps their joints because they can kind of lay their paws off the edge rather than laying flat on the floor which is why i think they like it but there's these plastic things on each each side that you just put in and then these legs and it is because of that it's really light but it has stood up really well so i'm really pleased with it okay this is the first of the kennels that i'm going to show you i really love this kennel i'll tell you what it is once i show you how to set it up because that might be all some people care about um, it's a very common kennel. It's actually for, an, they say it's an extra large dog. I think it's more of a large dog. I'll show you a much larger option in a little bit. That's much more of a pain. But this one, the first thing when you get it that's kind of tricky to figure out, and unfortunately it broke off on this one, but there's a clip on the side that you'll have to undo. So look for that clip right in the middle on one of the sides. That's what's holding it all together. So Dallas, come over here for a second. Thank you. So once you have that clip off, it's really easy. It will just pop up this side, pop up that side. Now you've got the base, and then you want to look what side is the one on top because it's going to fold up like that. So I just checked, it's actually on this side. So all I got to do, pull that up. Now you've got three tabs up on top, two face inward, one face is outward. They're all set. You just kind of pull it as needed. Now, you just do the same thing with the other side. Pull it up, check your three tabs on top. You might need to push down a little bit on the side ones, the middle one's not too hard. So then, it's all set up, that's already done. You've got two latches on the front, a dog can go in. I don't know if they want to or not. There they go, they're pretty easy dogs. They both want to go in. You have the same thing on this side, so they can go in and out. Now, as promised, I'll tell you exactly what this crate is, or kennel is. On Amazon, it was an extra large dog crate from Midwest, sorry, from Midwest Homes for Pets. It's the Midwest Eye Crate Double Door Folding Model. I got it for right around $70 in 2018. Uh, the other thing that I like about it, we'll be taking this on our travels because it fits in the slot behind your driver's seat and the rest of the SUV, so it fits the mode that we're doing real well. It doesn't add weight to the trailer because I'll keep it in, in the SUV. Okay, here we are with the next. This one isn't a kennel, it's more of a crate for traveling. The reason I got this was I was talking to my vet. We did Pippa's normal annual appointment and I told her exactly what our travel plans were and her question knowing Pippa was how does she do with travel? And she does get in the vehicle and can go places, but she's really uncomfortable. 
And the vet suggested that, you know, I think about it and maybe consider a travel crate for her. So that's the reason I got this. It's brand new. <laughs> Unfortunately, it came with a crack up here in the door. I think I'm gonna just accept it and maybe super glue that um, because for our purposes, I think it's still gonna work. It's a relatively easy put together. It comes to top and bottom and you just gotta figure out how to put the door in. And then all it is, Dallas's head is in the way, but just a bunch of little screws that you gotta put in, three on each side, two, two on the front and the back, and then the door. And if Dallas would, the door just works with the latch system and, and they haven't had the chance to go in it yet. So they're very curious. And so she's gonna check it out and make sure she's pleased with it. Maybe we'll throw a treat in there to get her to go all the way. It's in there, Dallas. Here. So she'll check it out. She'll do the inspection and then we'll let Pippa do one. Uh, but it really is for, for Pippa to be able to travel and not fall in between seats or feel um, scared or anything. Dallas travels perfectly fine. She gets low. She doesn't sit in anywhere that she's gonna fall. She's always been really good about it. Pippa just doesn't have that knack or have, hasn't figured it out. So um, it is, the, the, the brand is a, a Petme Sky Kennel Pet Carrier 36 inch. So it really is also meant for uh, going on airplanes and whatnot and keeping your dog safe and secure. And it's got a water dish. I, it goes on the front door. I've got it on the side for now. So um, if, if you need something for traveling, I haven't tested it out yet. But the nice thing that I figured out is and this is why it's important to know how to put things to get together and take apart because this will primarily be in the SUV. It will not fit fully put together in the trailer, but if I take it apart in the halves and the door, it then can go in the trailer and once you put it, then you just have to put it back together. So it, it's not a whole lot of work and it, it gives you some flexibility like that. As well with the other kennel, I can have Dallas outside and Pippa outside if I'm at a campsite where you just don't have uh, enough room that I'm, I'm, I feel safe tethering them. So it's kind of a backup for that too. Let's see if Pippa will test it out. Come here, Pippa. Dallas, watch up. Dallas, you, you let Pippa go in. So we're gonna be working on getting Pippa acclimated to it, making it a safe space for her for the next few months. Here are for the Beast of the Kennels. This is a massive kennel. This is not a fold up one. So this is one that I really thought making a video of would really help somebody. If you're trying to do it for the first time, especially um, trying to follow the instructions was just kind of difficult for me, I remember at least to begin with. This is the extra large dog breed. I mean, we're talking Great, great Dane, Mastiff, St. Bernard. If you've watched my other videos, Bear falls into this. He's almost 120 pounds. The last kennel we showed you just isn't big enough for him. It's the heavy duty metal dog crate. Um, and I bought this one in 2017 for $133. I checked they are available on Amazon. If you're a Prime member for $153, it's the XXL dog breed. I'm telling you, this one is massive. It is not flexible as far as moving it around. And if you're going to buy this, make sure you're gonna have not only the space for it to fit, but it also takes a massive amount of room to set up. And you can't set it up and then move it from room to room. It's not gonna fit through the doorways. It's that wide. So you've gotta be able to have the space to set it up. And basically, I'll show you real quick. You need the space of this bottom frame here, plus one of the sidewalls. And so that's gonna be the first step in setting this thing up. And so let's get to it. I'm gonna get one of the sidewalls. I'm gonna move this over. Now I'm gonna do the first sidewall first, uh, the easier sidewall first, sorry, um, not the one with a door in it. Now, what you want to check on this when you're setting it up, you need the side with the, down here, you've got one that's almost my hand width, up here, you've got two different spokes, two different separated sections. That section is going to go at the bottom, that's what holds it in place. Now, it is recommended that you, this is more, at least a two person job. I'm a single guy. I figured out how to do it on my own, um, but it, it, that's why you need a video. It, it's too complicated um, and there's just kind of a lot to it. So with that, we're gonna take those sections and we're gonna fit
Here's the two sections right here. You see that? And you fit that top section, although this prong needs to be there, but I wanted to do a little bit closer up so you can see. And then we're gonna pull it out and then it latches onto these. So let me set this back up far away so you can see that you needed that close up to understand. I'm gonna need to readjust it because I was off by one prong. Okay, I've got my prong set up. Now, this is where you pull it up and it's always a pain, but then it latches into place. So now what I do, because I'm a single guy doing this, I have two chairs ready, and I'm gonna just kind of set that up there. And then we'll do the harder one. Excuse me, girls. Again, on this, the area that's got the two prongs has to go to the bottom or it latches. Line up those prongs on the edge. That second row of prongs, then you pull out. And then hopefully, at some point, you gotta catch. The second one's harder because you also can't do what you've done on the other side. And one of them is they're not catching for me. I think that's it. We'll find out when we put the walls on. I don't think it is. I think it's over here. There. That's why this is a little more com complicated. You gotta, you can't just do brute force, even though it takes a little brute force at sometimes, because you gotta get those prongs set up in the right spot on the corners. Remember, it's that second, you have those two rungs. You put that prong down here on that second rung, and then you're pulling out up and get it to latch. That's probably the hardest step. If you struggle with it, you won't be the first one. Now with that, we've got these sidewalls supported by chairs. The next is to put in the front and the back. So let me grab those pieces. You can tell these pieces, they're a little bit, they're much smaller actually, but they've got these little rungs and these are where the rods, after we get the roof on it, there's rods that will go through these and that's how it all holds together. So, this one, again, keep in mind, what's top and bottom? Cause you don't want to flip it up. Again, you've got the two rungs on this on the bottom and you've got the little hooks, that tells me this is the top this time because that's what's gonna clip onto the roof and hold it together. So what we're gonna do now I'm gonna set up two of my rods because I need to secure it. So we've got these, these rods that I'm gonna put the roof on and it's gotta secure this back before we can really juggle much more. Because as a single guy, I can't hold a lot more. So with that, we'll grab the roof or the top. All right, dogs, you probably want to clear out now. Okay. Now, again, as a single guy, this gets really complicated, but you slot, there's notches that you slot it in on each side and kind of hope that it doesn't fall together. With that, I'm gonna do this side first, and I've gotta get these rungs lined up for this one corner. And you take your rod, and you're gonna slowly, it takes a little bit of time, get into each of those little eyeballs, eye socket spots in the corner, and drop it down. 
And once you get the first corner, it gets a lot easier. Hopefully, if everything lines up anyways. All right. That works. So that helps secure it a little bit. Then we go back to this other side. Again, that is the point where you got to make sure these are now underneath the roof and holding it. The back has those little things on the top. You got to make sure that those are over the top of it. You get it all lined up and then you do your, your second back rod. Get, make sure the little hook is pointing out. You don't really want that pointing in because I think then, I, I thought your dog was going to get to it, but it seems like the safest way. I think it says that in the manual. And luckily, this is kind of falling into place. Sometimes these are a little bit harder to mess with, especially once you get towards the bottom. That one went pretty easily. Now is probably the time to go ahead and throw your bottom in. Mine's kind of dirty and just kind of press it down. It doesn't have a set, it should. I think some of my size, there we go. That should work. All right, now get your last two rods kind of on top because you're gonna want them close by. At this point, the chairs are not holding anything together from me, for me, and I just need to put on that front piece with that door. Again, these little prongs on top tell you what's on top because it's gonna connect to that bar there to hold it all in place. So let's get you set back up there so you can see. And we're gonna swing this around and do the same thing. And hopefully, it's easier to latch your doors. It's all very dusty. It's been out of use for a while. But get it all lined up, get your rods, go down those little sockets, hoping it lines up as it goes. When I first did this, I was trying to use a hammer to bang some of this stuff in. Guess what that meant? I was doing it wrong. I don't remember exactly what I was doing wrong. So trust me, I did not do it this quickly my first time around. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and see if the dogs wanna go in. Come on guys, we go in? There you go. We'll let them hang out in there for a minute. There's plenty of room for two of them. You guys stay, we'll give you treats in a second. And so then you do your last one and this is what will secure it. Again, the dogs aren't in any danger. These are going technically outside of what they can reach. Hi, Tampa. And there you have it. Always reward your dogs when they do something good. Up. Oh, good girls. You guys want to come up here? There you go. So they were very good assistants. Thank you very much, doggos. And there you have it. Again, this is for a large dog. It does come with dividers and such, um, I believe. Um, but it is a beast. But if you have those large dogs, you're gonna need it. And trust me, it did not set up this quickly the first time around. So thank you for joining us this week. If you're not already aware of the contest that we're doing, if you subscribe and comment that you subscribe, or if you like the video and you have to comment that you like the video, I found out, because I don't have a way to tell who's done liking, and drop another comment. There's four ways that you can get entries into winning up to $350 in gift cards. So thank you again for watching. Please subscribe, please like, and please comment if you like something or if this was helpful, especially if you just bought or are thinking about buying one of these kennel crate options.